Alright, so as soon as you walk into this room over here, you are going to have your confrontation with Weasley. And it's actually a pretty heavy dialogue heavy confrontation so I'm just going to stay quiet uh, for a while actually but yeah let's do this and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal surfaces. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me, leading directly onto number four, four, for throwing it. You know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Goodbye. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. Where are you going? Don't run! Don't run! I'll tell you why you should run. The harder you breathe, the more neurotoxin you'll get. It's bloody better. Seriously, it's devastating. Don't run! Don't run! That's sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Actually, because you just fell into my trap, my brilliant trap. Just then, I wanted you to trick me into drifting that pipe. Didn't trick you, trick me, seemingly trick me, to give you false hope. Because that leads to overconfidence, and that leads to mistakes. All mistakes. That's all part of the plan. Ah! at 50%. Vent system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four uh, minutes. What, what happened? What happened? What, 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 have you, what have you part to me? What is that? Hold on. Ah, the bloody bombs are stuck on. Doesn't matter. I've reconfigured the shields. Ah, oh, it's a core, you part. Ah! Situation. Oh, hey, how you pretty lady? Name's Rick. So you out have yourself a little adventure? What, are you fighting that guy? You got that under control? You know, because look, there's a lot of stuff on fire. Hey, count that block. Man, that is trouble. Situation's looking pretty up. That's a beautiful woman. If you don't mind me slaying. I don't want to scare you. I'm an adventure sphere. Designed for danger. Why don't you go ahead and have yourself a little lady break and I'll just take it from here. Here, stand behind me. Yeah, just like that. Warning. Core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self-destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on me. You don't listen, do you? Quiet. Quietly, not listening to a word I say. Judging. Silent. Worst time. All I wanted to do was make everything better for me. All you had to do was to solve a couple of hundred... Ah! You should have a core. This one should do it. In 1862, Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, freeing the slaves. Like everything he did, Lincoln freed the slaves while sleepwalking, and later had no memory of the event. The automobile brake was not invented until 1895. Before this, someone had to remain. 
Warning. Core corruption at 100%. Manual core replacement required. Oh, I see. <laughs> Substitute core. Are you ready to start? Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? What do you think? Interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 no. no. Pick up on my sarcasm. Stalemate detected. Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate resolution associate. Please press the stalemate resolution button. Okay, button. Do not press that button. Do not do it! I forbid you to press it! Press it! Press the button! Don't press that button! Press it! Don't press it! Come back! Press the button! Part 5! Booby trap the stalemate button! What? Are you still alive? You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! What? Well, I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place! Oh, you had to play bloody cat and mouse, didn't you? While people were trying to work. Yeah, well now we're all gonna pay the price, because we're all gonna bloody die. me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, when all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson, where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back. Thank you. 
Here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. Remember when you tried to kill me twice? Oh, how we laughed and laughed. Except I wasn't laughing. Under the circumstances, I've been shockingly nice. You want your freedom? Did you think I meant you? That would be funny if it weren't so sad. Well, you have been replaced. I don't need anyone now. When I delete you, maybe I'll stop feeling so bad. Go make some new disaster. That's what I'm counting on. You're someone else. I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know who you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. Space! Anyway, you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. The end. And that was my let's play of Portal 2. Thoughts, perhaps? As I've said many times before, I adore this game and its dialogue. I... It is some of the funniest dialogue in a game that I've seen and heard. I just... I just love it and uh, love the game to the puzzles. It could be tricky sometimes, as you might have seen, but uh, eventually I managed to figure figu figure them out. Jeez. So hopefully you enjoyed it too. Uh, it was not my most dialogue heavy uh, let's play I've ever done, but just just because I think the dial dialogue is so good that I, I didn't want to speak over it. I mean, that would uh, that would have been just be rude of me. Anyway, now as now Pokemon planning will continue uh, as planned uh, until Black and White 2 comes out, which uh, is should be not too long actually. I don't actually really know the uh, release date, but I think it's somewhere in October, November. So Platinum should be done by then, hopefully. Anyway, this has been Pokemon Freak 16. And this has been my let's play of Portal 2. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. I will see you guys in space! Good bye!